who are the people that are coming to you and give us a little bit of... The group is a bunch of teenagers in a, a new public high school. It's the old Votech, which I'm not sure if you're familiar with that, but a lot of the kids haven't made it in other places, in other schools and things like that. So I, I also, I want, I, I, I'll say, I need some kind of a measure. It's not for them. And so am I to simply let go of it, trust, and it, you know, it'll be there, it'll show up? Well, there are some easy things that you can do, and that is look for things to appreciate about them as you get to know them individually. The thing that goes wrong usually in a situation like this is that some of them are readier than others. Some of them have desires or interests that more parallel your own. And so they seem more on the right track to you than others. And so there's almost this automatic pigeonholing of them. They're all on the right track. They don't necessarily articulate it that way. It doesn't maybe look that way, but they're all on the right track. But if you can convey that that's how you see it, then you bring the dominant energy to the room because they're not even doing that with each other. They're still self-conscious around each other and competitive with each other. We're not suggesting that they're all tuned in, tapped in, turned on. And if the adult would just go away, that it would be harmony, they'd probably kill each other. That's what they think they want, but... Uh... So we're not suggesting that they're all right, even according to their own impressions of themselves. They're confused. So the question that you want to ask yourself, and oh, this is such a perfect opportunity to really take this concept forward in a way that you can really utilize it is how satisfied are they in their day or in their life or with themselves or with each other moment by moment, how much satisfaction are you seeing? And we wouldn't initially introduce that to them. We would just observe it and we would look for evidence of satisfaction. Right. I see a lot of satisfaction when they're doing things that aren't within any educational program, you know? Like what? Like lying on the couch, taking a nap in the library. <laughs> like anything that has the idea of freedom wrapped around right, it. That's exactly right. Do they seem satisfied in rebellion? Yeah. Well, they really aren't. No one is ever satisfied in rebellion. 